Welcome back to another clay tutorial. Today we are going to create the goose from Untitled Goose Game. Here we have yet another amazing indie game that you may or may not have heard of before. In Untitled Goose Game, what you basically do is play as this goose and run around terrorizing the town and causing trouble in any way that you can. And I know there's this common idea behind the game that this is some extra crazy violent goose, but that's not really true at all. In my town we have these geese, they live down by the river. Anytime you walk past them, they chase you and they hiss at you and they honk and they are extremely mean and I feel like they fit the characteristics of this goose pretty well. So I think he's just a normal old goose and maybe some people have never really been face to face with a goose before so they don't really know what they're like. As you saw there, we just finished up the base. I've started to make bases for these indie game characters and I think I'll continue to do that because the characters by themselves just really aren't too detailed. This one would just be a goose, so I think having a stand and being able to add some different characteristics from the game really makes the figure come to life and looks a lot better. It's always hard to make a clay figure completely white. The clay always gets so dirty, and you guys have been asking a lot actually in the comments, like how do I keep my clay so clean? And the truth is I don't. It actually gets very messy when I create these, but I have ways of cleaning it up. So I'm thinking that I'll create a tutorial soon of how to keep your clay clean. Maybe I can make some other tips and tricks videos about clay, along with still creating these normal tutorials. Here we have the two wings for the goose. These wings are kind of strange because they connect into the tail, but on the front part of it they blend in and on the back they're very defined still. So I think that's sort of strange and it took me a while to figure out how to actually create this. I found some 3D printed models of the goose from this game and that actually helped me a lot looking at these. Now we'll cut off the head here to put on the beak. This is some orange clay but the orange clay out of the pack was a bit bright so I mixed together some black with it. The colors in this game are very pale, as you notice with that green we created. By itself it looks kind of strange, but when you compare it to the game, it actually is a pretty decent match. Here we have some wire. I thought I would show you guys the type of wire and the gauge that I typically use. Sometimes for things I'll use much thicker wire, but that's not necessary for this one. Now we will create the feet here with some more orange clay. As you guys notice, lately I've been creating some indie game characters, and this is going to still be a very consistent thing. I want to make this a big part of my channel. Basically making Nintendo and indie game characters will be my main focus. So in both of those categories, I'm always open to suggestions. Whatever your favorite indie games are, let me know in the comments and I will start to create them. I try to create as many suggestions that you guys give me as I can. Sometimes they're a little bit overwhelming with how many there are, but I think that's awesome to have a nice community giving me suggestions, so thank you guys for that. Here I have printed off some different sizes of these signs from in the game. It took me a while to figure out what kind of scenery I wanted to make for this game, but I came to the conclusion that these no geese signs would be pretty cool, and that triangle one, the first one we're cutting out here, that is actually sort of the logo for the game, so I thought that would be nice to add in there. I saw a pretty funny picture where the goose had a pile of signs around him, so I thought I would try to make basically that, but in my own design. Here we will have a, another sign, more so a squared sign, we'll cut out here the, the boards and some chunks out of it to make it look a little more realistic. Here we have the post for it, but for that post to fit in we need to make a big hole into the base here. And our goose is ready to get baked. So if you noticed I used that wire to hold up the goose, he was really falling over a lot before I put him into the oven so I had to hold him up with something and this actually worked out very good. 
Now we are going to take some white paint to paint this sign. I think this worn down white paint look is pretty awesome for this sign, and it's pretty consistent for the signs that I saw in the game. Now with a glue stick, I found these work best for attaching paper details onto clay. Now we'll take the super glue to attach the post. And we actually don't even need to glue that into the base, it just fits perfectly. But we'll glue these other signs on here. And the final sign here. And here it is guys, the goose from Untitled Goose Game. I hope you all enjoyed the creation of this crazy little goose. If you want to see more indie game characters I've created, you can see a playlist up in the top corner here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one.